you guys know how I say I usually don't watch in genre videos here on YouTube. So I'm a gear review channel, tactical, gun reviewer, whatever. So gun reviews, knife reviews, tactical clothing reviews, all that stuff, I, I don't watch. It's too much. I just get, I don't know, tired of it all. I will admit, however, that I really enjoy watching some watch reviews. I do. I'll click around and I'll just waste like two hours checking out watches. It's so weird. I know. I'm embarrassed to admit that. But I do. Maybe you're the same way. If you're watching this TMP WRV, maybe you are and I'm glad you're around. There is a subset of TMPers that are loving the watch reviews. I surely am. It's a nice mix to the content flow. And like I said, I can go different places testing these watches, especially these Wegners. Here they come right now. Uh, we've got a trio. It's going to be kind of a three for one. These are actually the two of the same model. This is a different model. But these ones are scuba dive proven in the Net Fancy project. I'll try to show you the footage. Scuba dive proven. Hard to do. It's a rare occasion when I will be able to do it, but I'll do it whenever I can. Uh, to just test and to have fun with the watches. It's a fun adventure and it's really cool to be able to come to the table and say, hey, these things are proven. They're awesome. So it's not a desk diver with me. I'm actually an adventurer getting out in the salt water in apparently shark territory testing these watches. And yeah, it's the red triangle where I dive these watches. It's off Monterey where I've been going. That's in the red triangle. And no, I haven't seen a shark yet, especially one with a freaking jetpack on it. <laughs> Great white. These are still our shark patches at Nut and Fancy Big Cartel. This is also the background gun. Gun. It's just eye candy. It's a Zastava M70A Tokarev style of pistol, 9mm. Totally excellent. That's also a value right there. That's kind of the theme we'll have going for this uh, whole review. Value, value, value. But these were scuba dive proven. And I like being able to come to the table when the watch is kind of directed towards scuba dive and say, yeah, I dove them. That's cool. I don't think a lot of guys do that because it's difficult, but, you know, I try to do it once in a while. Now, the models are as follows. This is Tactical Doodle's watch. This is my watch. They are the Wegner, I pronounce it with a V, the German pronunciation, Seaforce watches. They are dedicated dive watches. The model number is 06. 41.10 for the lime green accents. Let me get a little bit closer here. And the blue one is 0641, I believe 104. Then we have the Squadron Wegner GMT 77070. Also a dive watch. And I'll talk about the GMT functionality here in just a bit. First up, I, I really start off with the looks. How do they do it for me? Do they do it for you? They kind of need to tick off those looks boxes. And for me, they do it. There are different variations of colors for the Seaforce. The tactical black, and it has a black ion stainless steel bracelet, is 0641.107. Please use my Amazon links below supporting the independent and reviewing voice of TMP. I'll get like three cents when you buy with that link. And then I'll apply it next, uh, next purchase. I do in Amazon, bringing you more crap to review. Not crap, it's all good. Well, not all good, but mostly good. I don't waste time on any turkeys for the watch show. Sometimes guns I do, because I go out in the desert, spend a lot of money, find out that it's not what it's you know cracked up to be. I'll bring that to tabletop. But the watch review show, I don't think there's many turkeys floating around out there. Different colors, they have green ones, aqua highlights, black ones, I'm talking the Seaforce model. That's another thing I like about it. Because you can find a look that fits your personality or whatever uh, garb you're wearing that day. Uh, I also think it comes in orange, which is super sick. The Wegner in orange. You guys know I love the orange watches. I really do. And then this is the Wegner Squadron GMT. Really elegant look. And I'm going to zoom in on these faces. We'll talk about the details right out the gate. I love the white coloration. It's kind of a pearlescent, iridescent white on the squadron. And by the way, all three have sapphire crystals, which at this price point is amazing value. It really is. Pure illumination on the Arabic numerals on the Wegner Squadron GMT. 
hollow hands, but they're really legible because they extend to the outer scale, which as you can see has five minute increments in it. And then the inner scale there, this dark blue one, and then the one on the bottom is actually for that little tiny hand, which is GMT tracking. Stands for Greenwich Mean Time or Zulu Time as we call it in the pilot community. But you could actually track whatever time zone you want with this hand. And the super cool thing about it is that this small hand moves one revolution every 24 hours. That's what you need to understand about the GMT functionality of this and most, not all, most GMT watches. So right now, whatever time zone it is, I think it is GMT, I'm not positive. It's showing what, about 1345 hours. Cause that's 1200 hours at the six o'clock position and then you can see it's, uh, I'm trying to get to focus here, there you go. Maybe 13, uh, 15 actually, now that I get it uh, looked at closer. Swiss made in the face here. Are they entirely Swiss made? Do they qualify for the, the terminology Swiss made? Mm, I don't know. I know the Swiss watch industry is very particular what that labeling means. It has to have a certain percentage of actual in-country Swiss production, both manufacturing and assembly. I'm not sh too sure about these Wegener watches, but judging from the price, there's probably some overseas stuff going on there. So maybe in China, maybe in Taiwan, I don't know. But designed in Germany, maybe partially assembled, who knows where, I don't really care. All I know, it's a super quality watch and the price is right. Back to the looks on the Squadron GMT though, notice it has like blue iridescent hands too. See how it's kind of a shiny blue, really cool look. That with the phosphorescent, not really lime, but uh, what color would you call that? It's just kind of a, a lumen, a, a loom green on the Arabic numerals. It looks really cool. Then you have an illuminated index mark on the rotating 120 click, apparently sandproof bezel on both of these watches. So I dove it in the surf, uh, boogie boarding, dicked around with that for a while, and then I went scuba diving only to about 30 feet with these watches. I think I went with the Sea Force. I can't remember. I know I did it with the, the Squadron, and the bezel still turns cleanly. This is, I believe, the actual watch I dove with. Real nice positive action. It sounds great. 120 click. And then you have really clean markings on this bezel too. They are actually indented a little bit, so they're not just painted on or laser engraved. Then you have some knobs at every 15 minute mark, which are used to assist you with gloved operation. Let's go to the squadron. Again, TD liked the blue, he got this one. And all three of these watches are rated to 200 meters, by the way, with screw down crowns. This is a great looking watch too. And I said, it has to kind of attract me. Uh, what I really like is a big enough face. I don't like small faces on my analog watches. And I like really awesome legibility. And these watches, again, do it for me. Big, easy to read hands. So our minutes hand is perfect. Our hours hand isn't short, too stubby super easy to pick off the time. We have a red seconds hand in this blue one. That is the 104 model. Then we have a lime green, hot lime green seconds hand, and actually entire highlights. It's a whole theme between each watch, whatever color you get on the dot one zero version. The markers, no Arabic numerals. We do have the Swiss cross at the top. This one had it as well, kind of shiny, the squadron, but this is a standard red Swiss cross, super excellent five minute graduations on the chapter ring in there. And this one has date in it. And I think the window is too small and it's hard to read. The squadron has it as well, about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger, but not day in date, just date. Honestly, when I wear these analog watches, more and more I'm pairing it with a smartwatch. So now I have a series two on and that's just what I do. And then I can put whatever I want on the left wrist and I don't really care about date. You know, I have all the uh, technological advancements of that style of watch. Uh, I'm talking smartwatch. And there's some really cool smartwatches coming out. But they got no soul, bro. No soul. Now, these are quartz movements. I got about a year and a half out of the battery. And I just replaced the battery on this one last night. I'll roll in the photos. 
What I was impressed with in the battery replacement of the Ronda 515 quartz movement is that it was pretty easy. There was one tiny retention screw holding down the power cell. Uh, be careful you don't lose that. It's tiny. It will pop out and if it goes in the carpet, you're done. You're going to have to find another one that fits that. And it is a very specific uh, retention screw for that battery compartment. But I like that it used a screw because it really locks down the battery. There's no jostling and it's unlike Casio that has those funky, hard to figure out tabs that I usually break when I do a battery replacement. The Wegners don't have that problem. So I just took a battery out. I had one on hand already. I'm getting a collection of watch batteries for all these quartz models that I run. I put it in. It took me like, I don't know, 10 minutes from start to finish. Pretty easy to do. So about a year and a half. I kind of wish the power cells were bigger. I really would like it if these quartz models would use like a 2032 or a 2025 battery. It won't happen because the actual quartz movement is very tiny in the watch and very simple. But it'd be nice. That way it'd probably last five years. You get five years of use out of it. Now the second hand on some of these models isn't exactly precise. I know some of you guys that really burned you. Um, I don't care at this price point. If I'm buying an IWC Big Pilot for uh, $10,000, I'm going to care. Of course, that's an automatic watch, so seconds hand registration, not a problem. Love the hands on this one. This one's outlined in yellow. Let's take a look at the illumination while we're here in the missile silo, and I'll charge them up just a little bit. The Wegner illumination is really excellent. I've found it to be great. Even when diving this one, not that I went that deep, but I could see the illumination as I got to 30 feet and you know with all the particulates in the water there off Monterey it was kind of helpful um by the way I only wear an analog watch for a second cool I'm not using it as my my tracking of oxygen use I'm using a, a Sunto D4i with this on the other wrist there you go oh that looks awesome told you that's pretty excellent so this has the same style of bezel indus at the top and I do use these bezel rings a lot for just simple timing functions there's a squadron look at the Arabic numerals on that dudes so the squadron does not have an illuminated seconds hand if that's important to you and actually these don't either I thought they did but no I'm thinking of another watch I just reviewed so there's a seconds hand right there so no illumination on that and on these bezels, you'll notice you have a 20-minute graduation, which is pretty standard for a dive watch. It's a fun review, man. It's because I like the product. I really do. I mean, I'm super excited about it, bringing it to you. I wish you guys would have bought this when I tweeted this one. I think it was like $70 in Amazon, and I tweeted it out. I said, jump on this watch. I'm going to review it, dudes. I hope some of you guys scored that. I think the price on all three of these watches will generally run around, um, I'll say, 125 bucks. But man, they just vary so widely; it's hard to to lock it down. Let's look at the case on the Wegener Seaforce dive watch. Oh, I'm, I'm off. That's only uh, about 43 millimeters. It looks bigger, actually. That's what she said. Yeah, maybe so. So I'm about right on that dimension right there. So 44 millimeters across. Thickness-wise, they'll all be the same, about 12 millimeters. High polished 316L stainless steel in the C Force. I think the squadron's about the same. Non-drilled through lugs, and I think they're 22 millimeter lugs. Let's check it out super quick. 22 millimeter lugs right there, giving you a lot of strap options if you want it. Here's the case back. That super cool Swiss Army knife presentation, screw down, cat case back, high polish, saying it's Swiss made here, bragging about the fact that it's a sapphire crystal. You can see the model number here, 0641.10 for the lime green. Super cool looking. Swiss logo in the crown. Again, it's a screw down crown, which would be appropriate for the 200 meter rating. And it's hackable, and then you'll just pull down, pull it out to position one to change your date. Pretty standard there. The bands on these are really excellent. They are high quality silicone bands, and they have contrasted stitching that goes with the color you've chosen. So this one is lime green. You got lime green stitching 
frosted stainless steel single class double keepers. It's a super comfortable band. Sweat factor, bang factor, pretty low. I do find in the summertime with all silicone bands, I have to take them off. Mm, I wouldn't say super frequently, but once in a while, I'll let the wrist breathe. Normally when I get stainless steel bracelets, I'm pulling them off and putting on a Barton stainless steel band. So I'm kind of stoked that the C-Force and the GMT come with ones already. Uh, silicone bands and their logo, their OEM. Here's the blue stitching on this blue C-Force dot 104 model. I think that's what it is. I'll put the links below, like I said. One thing I noticed about the Squadron GMT is that it had a really long band on it and it was adequate for my wetsuit. But I EDC this a lot more than I dive with it, so I actually chopped this one down a little bit because I had this much flapping out in the wind with the Squadron GMT. And the keepers on this one, on these C forces, they worked on this one not so great. I need to put some better keepers on it. They're just too far spaced, they're not very sturdy, and I don't really like the keepers on it. Same type of frosted stainless steel cl cat clasp and case back. Now in the GMT function of this watch, one thing you don't get is a GMT bezel. So where you could actually rotate it to your GMT hand and actually find out different time zones from that. There's a lot of information online if you were to Google it and find out exactly what I'm talking about. This has a standard dive bezel on it for timing functions. And to be honest with you, I, I much prefer that. Because if I want to track different time zones, I'll use my smartwatch, which is on the other wrist. This I'll use for timing, like cooking potatoes or something like that. So to me, it has more functionality. Look at the knurling on this dive bezel, by the way. And on the C-Force, it's just not quite as precise. Uh, durability is going to be phenomenal. Again, sapphire crystal. Do I have these coated? This one I put a crystal protector on. This one too, for some reason. I'm not sure why. Because you don't really need it with a sapphire crystal. Diving though in the water beats these watches up a lot. I've talked about that many times before. Uh, the quartz movement, like I said, about a year and a half. Super easy. The auto watches are just more worked. So surf proven. It, they do have a three-year international warranty. These uh, Wegners, would I buy them? Absolutely, totally. So this is my watch, this is my watch. Uh, pretty much Swiss made as far as I can tell. There's really nothing bad I can say about the watches that is meaningful. Maybe the small date window. That's about it though. Uh, highly recommended. The Wegner, Seaforce and the Squadron GMT, nothing fancy.